Hello and welcome to episode 7 of the PEI Department of Education Arduino Starter Kit. Today we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the code. So we're going to do a bit of an introduction into variables and we're going to talk about commenting. These are two really critical pieces to the coding process. And as we go forward, we're going to start combining bits of code together to be able to do interesting things with the Arduino and understanding how variables and commenting work is pretty critical. So let's take a look at this code here. It includes servo.h. That brings in the special code that helps our servo to work. So we're going to, that pulls it in automatically. We don't have to worry about that, but it has to be there. Right here it says servo, my servo. What we've done is we've created a name, a variable name, for our servo called my servo. Now that's a pretty boring name, so we're going to go ahead and call it something else. We're going to call it uh, penguin. So our servo is now named penguin. Doesn't matter what name you use. Better not to use spaces or special characters and no capitals too. But uh, now what we're going to have to do is go through the code and find all the places where we used my servo and change it over to penguin. So we look here under void setup. We see my servo attach nine. That's take our penguin, which we have now called our servo, and attach it to pin nine. So all this stuff kind of makes sense when you look closely at it. We look down here void loop, da, 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 da. there's my servo, change that to penguin, let's see what penguin does here, penguin write POS, that's position, that's how it writes the position it wants to have the servo in, Look down, and here we have my servo, so our penguin, so write to the penguin, it's new position, so there we have just gone in and changed some variables, and they're variables because they can change. There's one more variable in here for us to look at. I'll let you guys go ahead and change this one on your own. It says int, which is an integer. Position equals zero. So POS, this is a variable. It says variable to stir, serve, to store the servo position. See how useful this comment is? I advise you in as many ways as you can to go in and adjust these comments and put as much information as you can. So as long as you put a slash slash like this, It'll gray out and allow you to write whatever you want in here. It's a great way for uh, you to remember what you did, but it's also a really good way to prove to your instructor, if you're in a classroom environment, what exactly you've gotten done. So it's great for assessment. It's great for teachers to get a sense of what, where students are and to be able to help them uh, get further down the road. So you go ahead and change this position variable. You can call it where or monkey. doesn't really matter what you call it. And then go through and see what it's doing through the code. Adjust that up and then go in and change these comments. See it says servo object control servo. I have called it penguin because they are cool. Anything you want can be written in there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check this though because that's the thing about every time you try to change the code one of the beautiful things about working with something like Arduino is we can always upload it and see if it works so upload as long as this thing goes swishy swishy we'll be okay oh we've got a problem I'm not plugged in little problems all over the place there it goes we're gonna upload again make sure that works oh it stopped because that means it's uploading and it's still working, so we did it just right. Goes to show, you've got to troubleshoot every day. Have fun.